Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you how to unroot slash unbrick your Nexus 7 tablet. So, what you're going to want to do is head on over to the link in the description below. And it will take you to Woog's Nexus Root Toolkit. Now, it may be a later version. You know, it depends on when you download this. But the latest is 11.30. So, if you go down, there will be a website right there. Scroll down to the bottom. You should probably read this because it's kind of important. But we're just going to download this file right here. And once you download that file, it will be in your downloads folder. So what you're going to want to do after it's in your downloads folder is you're going to want to install it. And then once you're done installing it, you're going to want to go back to your browser. Head on over to the second link in the description, which will take you to this page, the Google Developers website. And you're just going to want to scroll down to factory images for the Nakasi, which is the Nexus 7 tablet, the Wi-Fi variant. Now there is also factory images for the GSM tablet, but if you just click that, it'll download it. See right there, I already downloaded it to save you guys time because my internet is slow. And once you have all that done, you're just going to want to open up that toolkit. And as you see right here, this is our toolkit. Now if you don't have the drivers, you can install the drivers yourself with the full driver installation guide. Now I recommend reading all of this and then moving on to step two to install the drivers from right here so you can press ok to continue and it gives you an entire you know description of how to install your drivers with a walkthrough and pictures for each so there's really no way you guys can mess up because I use that to install the drivers actually but what we're going to want to do is go to flash stock plus unroot device is normal and I'm going to press OK to continue. And I'm going to go to other browse because I, I have my own. So I'm going to click OK. And as you see, it's going to take us to our downloads folder. And this is the file that we downloaded, the Nakasi J0P4, that file. <laughs> now we're going to open this. It says analyzing the factory image. Please be patient. So this shouldn't take too long. Okay, and it says please check your MD5. Sorry, that was my other phone. So we are going to go back to check our MD5. 27A, 9A, 10. So yes, that is our MD5. So we are good to go. Just going to click OK. Now you want to check the MD5 because if this is a bad file and you flash this on your phone, yeah, you're, you're, you're going to be in some bad trouble right there. But it says, please be patient while your file extracts. Checking ADB status. Um, probably forgot, you should plug your tablet into your computer now. But since, I'm just going to plug it in. And it says, checking fast boot status. Well, we aren't booted into our bootloader. So what we're going to want to do is unplug our device because we weren't ready so we're gonna power off click OK now if if you were you know break during a boot loop press and hold both volume up and down and the power key for about 10 seconds or so and your device will reboot into the bootloader waiting for this to okay so we are fully powered off now press and hold both volume keys and the power key and you will boot into this which is your bootloader now what you are going to want to do is plug in your USB cable alright and then you're just going to want to put your tablet off to the side and it says fast boot device was not found which we know that because we didn't have it plugged in so you're going to want to make sure to plug this in before you start so we're going to press OK for it to check fastboot status again. And it says device connected this time. Now you're going to want to make sure you have all of your drivers and everything installed. There is a full guide like I said before. Okay, and it just sh shows us a disclaimer for everything. So we're going to click OK. Bring this up for you guys to see it a little bit better. And 
and I will be back when all this is done flashing. Now just a little heads up, this does wipe everything off of your internal and SD card. So everything that you have will be erased, so you want to make sure to back up. And there is an option on the toolkit actually to back up everything. So you are going to want to use that and you're going to want to back up all of your apps, your data and stuff like that. And then once you're done flashing this, you can just hit restore. And yeah, I will be back when this is done installing. Alright, and that is finished. So it is going to reboot our tablet. As you see right here, our tablet is rebooting. And it just says press any key to exit. That the boot time may take up to 5 to 10 minutes. So I'm just going to hit enter. And it says script is designed. Huh, that's a little late. Um, but let's bring this back over. And our tablet is booting up. So what you're also going to want to do if you are unrooting this to, to return it to stock is you're going to want to relock your bootloader. So I'm going to wait for this to fully boot up. It shouldn't take too long. And I will be back. Alright, and we are booted up into Android with a little welcome screen, but I'm not going to set this up. What we're going to want to do is power off our device. Just select power off, select OK. And we are going to boot back into the bootloader, and we are going to want to relock it. Now, if, if you are just restoring this to stock because you messed up, you can also... Like, you can unlock it, you can use this to root your device, you can do this to install stuff. So basically, you can do everything with this toolkit. And also, this works for all the Nexus devices. Just a little heads up. So press and hold both volume keys again, and the power key. Until you see the screen with the little Android guy. And we are going to plug our tablet back into the computer. Now, if, if you actually hit the start and go through all that you can just use ADB reboot bootloader but so now we're gonna click OEM relock use the so we've already used the you know the stock unroot so it says connected rebooting your device into bootloader we have already done that so we're just gonna wait for this to oops now it's checking our fast boot status And let me just get like a little close up for you guys on the bootloader. As you can see in red right there, it says lock state, it's unlocked. So that is what we are going to be changing. Get this focus back out. Alright, and it says lock information. So I mean, it just gives you like a little disc disclaimer and stuff like that. So it says rebooting your device. And also note, we don't have the little unlock, unlocked padlock at the bottom anymore. So that is how you unroot or unbrick your Nexus 7 tablet. If you are just, you know, un trying to unbrick your tablet, you do not have to, you know, unlock. I mean, relock your bootloader and everything like that. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And that's it. I hope you guys like this video.